Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and apologies. I haven't set up a filming corner yet. I don't, I don't know where my light ring is. I, I don't know where my flower ball is. I'm just winging it. Anyway, um, what is that behind me? There's like, oh, it's my chair. I was like, there's a funny shape behind me. I'm sat in a different chair. Anyway, um, what was I going to say to you? I came on for a reason. Oh my God, I know. So I kind of promised you a moving in empty house tour video. And we moved in and I did one and I did one literally as the removal men were like bringing the stuff in, I was there like quickly like running around, like panning around being like, oh my God, it's on your house. Oh my God, we live here. This is so weird. And um, yeah, I filmed it. And then I don't think I'm gonna post it. And I, I feel like I need to explain why, because I've had kind of a funny few days. So bear with me, sorry, I had to cough. Um, I think I've got hay fever. Anyway, so I've had a bit of a funny few days. Basically, I posted on my Instagram that we'd moved. I posted a picture of like me in front of the house and I posted some stories and that kind of thing. And then somebody slid into my DMs and no joke, basically asked me if we'd moved because we couldn't afford the last house anymore, which I was kind of a bit like, that's rude. Um, and kind of insulting and kind of like when, when you buy a house, I think you always have this kind of feeling of like, oh my God, have I done the right thing? Like, and I loved, I loved our last house. Like, I think you know that. And I love this house too, but like, you do have that feeling of like, oh my God, have I done the right thing? Like, oh my God, like I'm losing, I'm leaving things behind, but I'm gaining new things. And you know, you always have that feeling of like, have I done the right thing? So for somebody to kind of say like, oh, did you lose your last house? Because like, you can't afford it. Like, it was a bit like, no. But also like, do you think my new house is rubbish? Thank you. Um, so then I was like, I was, I was annoyed. Um, <laughs> so I was annoyed. Anyway, um, I then suddenly got really angry because I was like, well, actually people are losing their houses because they can't afford them anymore or like they've had job losses or their partners have had job losses and people are struggling. People are going through a tough time and all that kind of thing. And even though we haven't moved because of finance, we moved because we wanted to be nearer to family and my boyfriend and I had always thought Norfolk would be just a dream. <laughs> that, um, but you know, other people are moving for financial reasons and my heart goes out to them. And then I suddenly was like, Eh, should I be posting an empty house tour? Like, I think this house is really beautiful. And I just think it's so charming and beautiful and it's why we picked it. And we're gonna be renovating and we're gonna be making it even more beautiful. And I'm so excited about it. But I also feel like other people aren't doing that. And I don't know, I just kind of feel like, I don't know, I start, I'm, I'm, I'm spiraling. But basically I suddenly started to feel like, am I, am I being showy? Like, am I showing off? Am I gonna make other people feel sad if they are moving out of their houses or if they are struggling? Like, am I gonna look like this place? I don't know, do you know what I mean? I started overthinking it and I didn't want anybody to think I was showing off or anything and then I was like, well, like it was really weird because like part of me was like, well, some people are gonna think I'm showing off and another other part of me thought that people would think I've you know, bought a crap house because I can't afford the house we lived in anymore. Um, so it was kind of a bit like, blah. And then I suddenly thought, do you know what? I think it's just best if I don't post an empty house tour. I don't think it's appropriate right now. So I am gonna show you my house in bits as and when and we do stuff. We are renovating, we have a lot to do. It's gonna be exciting. Um, we have both structural stuff to do and also like, decorative things to do. So I am gonna show you my house and I might do a garden tour at some point and I'm gonna show you literally everything and I'm gonna show you how it's being renovated, how we're spending our money, like everything. Like I feel like I've learned so much about renovation. I really want to pass on my knowledge, but I also kind of felt like it's an empty house tour really helping anybody. Like I didn't wanna feel ins insecure about the before but I also didn't want to feel like I was being showy 
and some people see her before and think oh, that's rubbish um and then some people might think it's a lot i don't know i just was like maybe maybe it's just best for now if i don't do an empty house tour so i still have the footage i might post it at some point but i just thought i would explain i promised an empty house tour and i haven't delivered but i i don't know i might do it at some point i might not i might just show you bits and bobs and basically every room as they're being done um, and all that kind of thing but I just thought I would explain why <laughs> why I haven't posted the empty house tour yet because I kind of promised it um so that's kind of why um what else did I want to tell you oh yes I think I kind of covered it already but I have had a few questions asking why we moved and basically just because we felt like we'd been in Margate for five and a half years and my family are all up north. I am obviously very northern. Um, and it just kind of, I don't know, Margate, Manchester felt very, very, very far away. And Norfolk, we're kind of in the middle. So we can get there in like three hours as opposed to like six and a half, which is kind of huge. And um, yeah, we just love Norfolk. And, you know, I've lived in Manchester. I've lived in Cheshire. I've lived in London. I've lived in Margate. And now we wanted to give Norfolk a go. And it's so pretty here. And there's just so many beautiful walks and woods and forests and lakes and just all sorts of loveliness. And we just thought we'd give it a go. Get some chickens, you know, give Gordon a pretty good garden, all those kind of things. So yeah, that's why we did it. It's so nice knowing that like my parents are kind of like, just a short drive away now and um yeah I don't know it just kind of made sense sometimes you just have to go for it when we moved to Margate I didn't know anybody I didn't know the area we just kind of went for it and this time we're going for it again but this time in Norfolk anyway that is my video sorry for the quick ramble catch up but I just thought I would explain why I haven't posted an empty house video I do of course love this house i'm so excited about renovating it i know it's going to be so beautiful it's got so many incredible original features the outside is like a dream the garden is amazing we have a private drive and an outbuilding like it's so nice but at the same time i just feel like an empty house tour is kind of no i don't know i just i'm not sure i don't know if i don't know if it's quite right some people are going to be like oh that's your house compared to the other house and then other people are going to be like oh quit showing off so yeah i just thought i'm going to park that for a little while explain why but i promise there will be lots of house updates and i will kind of show you lots and lots and lots and you'll basically see it all but across a lot of videos rather than kind of like a big here it is kind of video so yeah that's kind of my video i hope that makes sense. I'm going to work on my backdrop, but it really needs improving, doesn't it? It's not, it's not the best. Um, yeah, I'll figure it all out. <laughs> yeah, I really need to, I need to fix this backdrop. Anyway, that is my video for today. I just wanted to give you a quick chat and a quick update. You know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, I hope that all makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. <laughs>